so hello guys uh, uh, this is uh, the second part of tutorial for simbi python library so in this uh, video we'll see you know some operations and how exactly python uh, simpy python library helps us in performing those uh, operations and we'll uh, learn more about uh, the things as we go along so as you can see right now i have uh, uh, opened the uh, simpy.org uh, uh, simpy.org repository so basically what you can do you know if you want to check out any code in here you can just run it right here you know as you can see so let me just okay i'll just now see so yeah you know you can run this so this is uh, the basically you know where we'll be uh, uh, seeing what exactly are we, you know, are we going to do with this simpy python library so we'll just go ahead and see uh, how exactly and what we intend to do so first of all we'll see some basic operation you know like substitution and you know the things which we do have done previously and how exactly simpy python library helps us so first of all i'm gonna import uh simpy and i'm gonna import symbols as we have done in previous video now i'm gonna so first of all i'm gonna perform substitution so one of the most common thing that we you know in, in any mathematical expression uh, is that we know we substitute you know if we have any expression what we do you know we substitute we replace a variable with another variable or with a value so this is what I, uh, we are going to do uh, in this code so as you can see uh, so i'll just first run it and then i'll explain it so so now initially as you can see our expression was cos x plus 1 now i replaced x with y as you can see so whichever variable you want to replace uh, you have to place it on left and whichever you want it to be replaced with you have to place it on right now as you can see our expression is cos y plus 1 now <clears throat> why do we require substitution as we already you know said if we want it to evaluate that expression now here for here for example if i want to evaluate this expression for zero now we know it will be 2 why because cos y is uh, cos 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2 now suppose you know in other cases what we do is uh, we you know substitute one expression with another expression you know in case if you want to express uh, suppose you know uh, or in case of y uh, you want uh, y square you know basically what we want to see is how exactly our dependent and independent variable uh, relate to each other now here as in this case now first i'll run then i'll explain the code as you can see it's running here now so first of all if you see uh, this is the expression so x raised to the power of y now what i have done is i have uh, substituted the variable y with x raised to the power y so now our expression is x raised to the power x and raised to the power y as you can see this has x raised to the power y has taken the place of y now in another step i am going to replace y with x raised to the power x so as you can see this is the ultimate expression we are getting now you can obviously check out for yourself now for example if i want to you know uh, go ahead and you know just uh, i want to replace again it with y so i'll just okay uh, do this and and i'll evaluate this so as you can see oh okay so we got the same because there is there one any y so what we can do is okay let me copy this again okay okay just a second so okay yeah so basically i'm what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna replace it with x so ultimately this is going to be a very uh okay there's a error so what's the error okay okay yeah, yeah i may, made some mistake uh okay just a second 
okay i think i got it okay so i'll just so this was the one second i think i have to run this again so as i have already told you you know how exactly how we were doing now suppose i want to replace it with another variable now here i do this okay i think there is some problem with the evaluator yeah now suppose i want to replace y now first of all as you can see there is no uh, y in this expression so i want to replace x with suppose this now if i evaluate this and now i want so so as you can see so basically i mean like uh, uh, you can see for yourself you know you can um, replace it uh, any expression you want so we'll just move ahead and see more substitution and how exactly so first of all let me clear my life shell now okay there is some problem what's happening trace back most recent call all right i think yeah yeah so there we got our expression so as you can see for first we assigned our expression sine 2x plus cos 2x then we expanded it as you can see with expand search last three and so basically sine 2x plus cos 2x you, you know sine 2x is 2 sine x plus uh, cos uh, 2 sine x into cos x and cos 2x is 2 cos x square minus 1 so i did that as you can see uh, and after that i substituted it with this expression so i replaced sine 2x with 2 sine x cos x so uh, as you can see in the initial expression now it is replaced by sine 2x cos x so you can obviously you know check uh, these things out for you by yourselves too uh, as you can see now i have run the code in shell uh, you can ultimately now for example i want to replace it with uh, let me just uh, yeah so now suppose i want to replace sine 2x by 2 of cos x you know so if i evaluate this i got this you know in, in our what was our initial expression this was uh, sorry uh, not this was this was our initial expression and i replace sine 2x by 2 cos x and i got that so as you can see you can try some substitution by yourself i'm gonna run some more examples so here as you can see our initially our expression was this if i evaluate cos uh, 0 it comes out to be 1 if i want x um, i'm like what's a, a x so it's more should i say a dependent variable or independent variable it's x so um you know you can see um, for yourself for example there now if you want to evaluate any expression you can do that too you know let me try this one more example so you can <clears throat> as you can see so here uh, this is an interesting example so this was our initially our expression so uh, what i did was in this expression i raised it to the power i i raised y to the power i and in the range so if i modulus 2 is 0 uh, we are gonna do implement re replacement and which you can see uh, it only uh, you know has applied only for those uh, uh, i which are uh, you know uh, which are divided by 2 so you can see for yourself uh, uh, in case of x uh, it has raised uh, it has uh, less, um, it has reduced the power in case of uh, y uh, so basically yeah so what i have done here is i have replaced uh, x uh, with y where the power of you know uh, the 
variable is divided by 2. So as you can see, in the case of x raised to the power 4, now it is replaced by y raised to the power 4. In case of 4x square, it is now replaced by 4y square. So you can see. Now, uh, what if, so first of all, I'll clear my live shell. Now, what if I want to, you know, uh, convert strings to any expression? So first I'll run this and then I'll explain this. So you can see uh, for, for yourself. So I have this expression. Now, what I want is to be, you know, converted into, uh, you know, so what, uh, so basically what this uh, function did was, uh, it can be used to convert strings into simpy expression now as you can see this is a string you know we haven't uh, uh, given it as an uh, you know mathematical expression now what you simpy is doing now it is converting into simpy expression you know the basically expression which you can evaluate now as you can see this was our this is our equation now we want to evaluate uh, uh, i put the values of uh, 2 and i got 19 by 2 similarly <clears throat> If you want to evaluate square root of, uh, if you want square root of any number, for example, 8, you got 2.8. Now, if I suppose if I want uh, square root of, you know, uh, square root of 9, I can that 2, uh, get that 2. So, I'm gonna, so, if, you know, I got 3. I mean, like, we obviously know. Similarly, now this is very interesting now you know obviously pi is something you know we limit our only result to two decimals now if you want to have up to 100 decimal places you can that to get that to or using the eval function similarly you can you know check uh, various expression various you know trigonometric uh, expressions uh, exponential expression and you can evaluate them using uh, this uh, uh, eval function which the simpy, simpy library provides now as you can see I'm evaluating cos 2x and I have given in x as 2.4 so basically this is uh, our evaluation now I'm gonna move ahead and we're gonna uh, run some more code and see how it simpy library helps us more so here I'm gonna run um tell um, we're gonna study a function called lambdify so lambdify is basically okay first i'll run this okay okay there is some error we'll just clear this once okay now we'll run this again yeah okay so i think there's some so i'll just okay so first of all lambify function what is it so you know for example if you wanted to evaluate an expression at a thousand point using simpy so it would be you know slower than it needs to be especially you know if you if you are talking about precision and accuracy so you sh in that cases you know numpy and uh, scipy library are uh, preferred uh, numpy library tutorial we will study later in this course so one of the easiest ways to convert a simpy expression to an expression that can be numerically evaluated is to use lambdify function so lambdify acts as lambda function so it converts simpy names to the names of given numerical library usually numpy you no know, now uh, if i want to run so basically i will have to run this again okay so just a second yeah so for example if you want to run this code so what uh, here, here they have done this is a uh, function sinx now if you want to evaluate this function now uh, so basically evaluate in form of array you know obviously I mean like you want at least 10 values uh, as you have seen so what I have done here is I have replaced I have called the lambdify function and evaluated uh, using numpy library at, at 10 data points that I want my value 
and you can see we have got 10 at 10 or uh, 10 values as you can already see so what just a second i think we have to import simpy as well okay okay so uh, so this is actually a powershell uh, from you know uh, that is provided from uh, uh, simpy.org we are in yeah just a second simpy We'll have to check. Yeah, just turn on this. So, you know, just in case there's a problem. So, yeah. So, we have run this. Now, I'm gonna run this. I think there shouldn't be an error now. Okay, I think it's not able to define it. So we'll just move ahead and see the rest of the so let me just clear this yeah so as you can see now uh you know if i want to evaluate uh, 0 0.1 okay just a second sometimes you know uh, these shells uh, live shells doesn't work so you have to do some of the things from the scratch okay, from simpy yeah I'm gonna import simple library and evaluate so it's working now I want to run this function now suppose I want to run this simpy live so basically you got the point so basically as you can see what it's doing it's evaluating 0.1 now what's our function was uh, the, the so f was x you know now if you want you basically for example we are using a standard um, library math which comes with uh, numpy and uh, simpy also provides that so when i run this so this is basically 0.1 you know precisely uh, in that expression and when we give a value of 0.1 this is what we get <clears throat> now this is uh, another expression uh, as you can see so uh, basically, uh, uh, if you'll run this, uh, I think there might be a problem when I run this. Yeah, I think I'll just have to switch to the another one. Just a second. okay so yeah so basically you got that point you know what i was trying to say so these were the basic operations in you know and functions uh, which we studied um, okay, let me. so obviously you can check some things uh, by yourself uh, you can obviously try these things in jupyter notebook uh, where there will be more clear uh, uh, than uh, you know in powershell uh, there might come some problem as you can already see so you can obviously try these in um, uh, Jupyter notebook obviously and uh, mm, you can study more about uh, simpy library from simpy.org you now there are many examples which you will give you ultimate um, 
scraps of the simple library and how exactly are you going to use it you know for your uh, data um, better data understanding and analysis so that's it for this video thank you